Hey there, ever thought about that awesome movie from 1956 called War and Peace? If not, you're missing out. This classic flick has some seriously funny, shocking, and sad moments waiting for you. So stick around. The movie, directed by King Vidor, is based on Leo Tolstoy's famous novel. It's a big story set during Napoleon's invasion of Russia. But don't worry, it's not all about war and sadness. There's plenty of love, drama, and excitement to keep you interested. What's cool about this movie is how it still holds up today. Even after all this time, it's still a great example of how movies can bring big stories to life. The huge production, great acting, and timeless themes make it a real masterpiece. Now, here's a question for you. What's your favorite memory or personal experience from watching War and Peace? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. So, don't be shy. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions as you dive into this cinematic gem. There's laughter, there's shock, and there's heartbreak all waiting for you to discover. So, grab some popcorn and enjoy the show. Nino Rota's score stands out as a highlight in this rendition of War and Peace. The music, reminiscent of Tchaikovsky, effectively captures the essence of Russia. It's a pity that a stereophonic recording hasn't been attempted, as it would further enhance the experience. Despite the American accents in Russian settings, the film offers compelling battle and ballroom scenes along with commendable performances, particularly from Audrey Hepburn and Mel Furr. Henry Fonda's portrayal of Pierre is decent, but somewhat lacking in comfort. The costumes, though clean, could have been more authentic, and the portrayal of Moscow at times feels repetitive. However, King Vidor's direction ensures the film remains engaging, aided by the memorable score. A bit more screen time for Anita Ekberg's character wouldn't have gone amiss. Overall, War and Peace, despite its flaws, is a Hollywood spectacle that manages to leave a lasting impression. War and Peace, the 1956 movie, features interesting behind-the-scenes details. Notably, Henry Fonda, the lead actor, advised his third wife, Susan Blanchard, to steer clear of Ward Bond due to Bond's staunch ultra-conservative views and active support for McCarthyism, which Fonda strongly disapproved of. In a different context, Audrey Hepburn, a cast member, took on her final role as Hap and always primarily to collaborate with director Steven Spielberg. Her decision was influenced by Spielberg's film E.T., the extraterrestrial, which deeply moved her when she watched it with her youngest son in Rome. Impressed by Spielberg's directorial prowess, she remarked, the man is a genius and had harbored a desire to work with him ever since. It's worth noting that War and Peace was the only non-Best Picture Oscar nominee in its year to receive a nomination for Best Costume Design, showcasing its recognition in a specific category. These insights shed light on the interpersonal dynamics among the cast and crew and reveal the film's connection to other cinematic works. The unique inclusion in the Best Costume Design category adds a distinctive facet to its accolades. The movie War and Peace, released in 1956, faced various challenges with its cast. Mill's death, initially said to be from a chest infection, was later clarified as resulting from a stroke. Hepburn, during her final illness, dealt with intrusive press coverage, including photos published against her wishes. Despite these difficulties, Hepburn was honored as the most beautiful woman of all time and most beautiful woman of the 20th century in 24 polls by Evian and QVC. This recognition shows how people still appreciate her beauty and contributions to film. In the 1956 adaptation of War and Peace, Audrey Hepburn portrayed a character who, at the movie's outset, was intended to be 13 years old. However, it is noteworthy that Hepburn herself was 27 when the film was released. Brett, another character in the movie, was a member of the Woodmen of Arden, an archery club established in Wedding 758. This club had familial ties for Brett as his father, and brothers were also affiliated with it. Despite his on-screen image as a kind and heroic character, the actor who played the role was often described as cold, aloof, and frequently angry off-screen. Audrey Hepburn's portrayal of a character with a significant age difference and Brett's connection to the Woodman of Arden add unique layers to the narrative. The film, while presenting a heroic protagonist on screen, offers a contrast with the behind-the-scenes persona of one of its actors. In 1949, a filmmaker was asked by the British government to make three documentaries at Ealing Studios. These documentaries were called Big Blockade, All Hands, and Careless Talk. They show a connection to his filmmaking journey. During World War II, she did unusual things to survive like eating tulip bulbs and trying to bake grass into bread. This shows how tough things were during the war and how people showed strength. There's a family linked to Malcolm Vadim and Viva Vadim who are related to their great-grandfather. 
This ties personal history with movie making. The 1956 movie reflects the filmmaker's dedication and ability to tell stories. It mixes personal experiences with history, showing different sides of human life during wars. In short, the 1956 film connects personal stories with bigger historical events. It gives us a different look at what people went through, making it an important part of movie history. War and Peace, a famous movie from 1956 based on Tolstoy's big book, had some interesting stuff happening behind the scenes. Like Montgomery Cliff said no to playing Pierre, so they got someone else for the part. One of the main actresses said no to a role in another movie because of her age, but later on, she helped with a musical project inspired by Anne Frank's diary, which helped UNICEF. Also, two people who would eventually get married met each other at a party, and later they worked together on Broadway. These stories show how decisions and chance meetings shaped the movie and the careers of the actors. War and Peace, released in 1956, features a cast member who achieved the rank of life scout and later became a scout master. He was the son of Henry William Huggins, a military colonel, and Elizabeth Edith Cadbury Huggins. Throughout his acting career, he appeared alongside several notable actors, including Ingrid Bergman, Marilyn Monroe, Ronald Reagan, and Katherine Hepburn. He shared the screen with Bergman in Rage in Heaven, Monroe in The Seven Year Itch, Reagan in Prisoner of War, and Hepburn in The Madwoman of Cello. War and Peace is notable for its portrayal of historical events and characters set against the backdrop of the Napoleonic Wars. The film adaptation of Leo Tolstoy's epic novel garnered critical acclaim for its epic scope and performances. It remains a classic in the annals of cinematic history, beloved by audiences for its timeless themes of love, war, and destiny. In the epic movie version, Herbert Lom played the role of Napoleon Bonaparte, reprising his memorable performance from the young Mr. Pitt. Alongside him, John Mills portrayed Platon Karatev, a character with deep meaning. Interestingly, Mills had appeared in The Young Mr. Pitt before, but in a different role as William Wilberforce. Additionally, Lon showcased his versatility by playing unnamed as presidents in Failsafe and Meteor. Similar to Anne Bancroft and Jennifer Jones, Lom achieved the impressive feat of winning the Best Actress Oscar on his first nomination, but didn't win in subsequent attempts. Awards in the movie world can be unpredictable. Nevertheless, his impact on the world of film remains timeless, leaving a lasting impression on the big screen. Indeed, his performances continue to inspire actors and movie enthusiasts across generations. In summary, Herbert Lom had a diverse career with memorable roles and performances, solidifying his status as a true star of the silver screen. His ability to bring characters to life, whether they were from history or fiction, is unmatched. This speaks to his talent and dedication, ensuring that his name will always be associated with excellence in acting. This response was, 